Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to talk about North Day rapper Woody. Woody was born Ryan Mitchell Wood on November 20th, 1975 in Antioch, California. Now, Woody will grow up in Northern California, and like I said, Antioch to be exact. Unlike Southern California, which is full of Serenios, Northern California is full of Northanios, aka North Days, and they're in basically almost every city in Northern California. And that's what Woody will later become a part of. By the age of 14, Woody will become a North Day. With years of being in the streets and going to jail himself, lose the homies to the streets and to the pen like his homie Blackbird, who was unfortunately killed by the police, and his homie Snoop, who would go down for a crime and be in prison since 1997, where he still sits today, being denied parole two years ago. Things like this, and just how life was going overall, would push Woody to a route he knew he had to take to get out the streets. And that was rap. In 1997, Woody started his own record label called East Coco Records. And by 1998, Woody would drop his first album that was entirely produced by him. The album was called Yak Influence. He would have eight songs and feature some of his homies like Little Los and Shadow. Some of the biggest songs was North Day Siding and Yak Influence, just to name a few. The album Yak Influence was a local hit. And he followed this up by dropping a compilation tape with several of his homies called Northern Exposure. Volume 1 in 1999. The album featured people like Shadow, Little Los, B Dog, Mac Main, and several more. This will be followed up by several other compilation tapes like Northern Exposure Volume 2 in 2001, which featured several rappers, some being from the same previous compilation, and some like late great Bay rapper, The Jacka. Underground success accumulated with Woody being offered a record deal with Koch Records, a large and nationally distributed record label. Woody's first release for Koch Records was Demons In My Sleep, which was released in 2001. As well again, this showcased both his skills as an MC and also as a producer. Woody produced all but three of the album's songs, but with problems with the label, he would continue to go back to doing his own thing. Woody would release several more Northern Exposures tapes through his East Coco label, which showcased many more talents like AWACS and Big Tone, getting up to Volume 6 of the series. Volume 6 was released in 2005. That same year, Woody and AWACS would do a compilation tape called Two Sides of the Game. It had 12 songs, and Woody did a lot of production on the album. The last Northern Exposure was dropped in 2006, which featured many of the same artists from old volumes and many different artists. This would be Woody's last tape. Unfortunately, on March 7, 2007, Woody lost his life from what was said was a self-inflicted gunshot wound and a suicide. His passing was a big blow to many people and his cult following. Woody was a big influence on North Day rappers and several rappers in general. He always tried to help many people succeed in the industry. Woody will be buried in his hometown of Antioch, but in 2018, it was reported that his headstone had been stolen. Since his death, there's been many conspiracies surrounding his death. Many people speculate him killing himself is not true and think he was murdered or set up, but who really knows what happened? But with that being said, RP to him. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.